welcome to your reading for the second half of the month, March. Let's see what um, secrets our uh, cards and our mug will reveal to us. Uh, either you have a very complex, uh, complex project outside of your house or you intend to move. For the moment, I don't see too many details. I see only that this thing that you want to do outside your house is blessed and is divinely protected. More than that, I can't tell you. Let's see the interior of the mug. Uh, for some of you, I see you um, meeting someone or um, getting back in touch with someone uh, from um, your past or maybe is a new person for others of you. Um, in three points, three days, three weeks, a day of three. Uh, the point is that this, this person comes towards you with love. They, they come with open heart. They come with beautiful energy. They come, they come flying towards you. You receive them. You kiss them. You, you are welcoming them, but you are blocked. Uh, your heart chakra is blocked. You don't, um, you don't allow yourself to, to, to receive love and to, to give love. Uh, although on uh, on uh, a three D level, you you give and you receive, you at least you give the the feeling that you give and receive, but in reality you don't. You are blocked. You should maybe uh, try to meditate a bit and clean a bit your uh, heart chakra because there's something wrong there. Uh, and this uh, blockage comes from a relationship from the past that you had with a person whose name started with a C or an M. Um, this is why you are blocked because of this relationship from the past. Um, before this relationship, you were so balanced and so well. After this relationship, you've been left blocked and uh, you, you didn't release this uh, relationship yet, even if you're not with that person uh, anymore you didn't release this person this person is still tied still tied to you to your heart energetically and um yeah you sometimes you still think about the com the the um the commitment that you would have liked to have with this person and the accomplishment that you would have liked to have with this person. Uh, you you kind of daydream and you imagine how it would have been. You still project in the future this energy. If before going to bed you're still like dreaming with your eyes open and imagining how would it would be if I, if I would be married to to that person how it would a day in our life would be if we would be together how um this is you this person that comes towards you with love comes flying towards you this person is very clean heart comes with a very clean heart with a very clean energy they're very into this connection but you're the one not allowing this connection to to flourish to manifest because you're still all your energy is towards the past and this person that was in your past let's see the the house area yeah in your house again it shows um this person coming towards you kissing you um coming in in a hurry i don't know where this person comes from and, and how you you get in touch with this person but it looks like it it's coming very quickly into your life in the bottom of the mug and in the house area also 
But yes, you are receiving the, the attention of this person. You are not rejecting this person, but you are not opening your heart totally either. So you're still thinking about this person. Um, in seven points, you intend to, to, to have something with your past person, you, you, with your ex person. You maybe try to, to contact this person. Maybe you want to meet this person in in flesh. Maybe you want to, to, to set a date with your ex-partner. Something you, you plan to do with your ex-partner. This new person that comes uh, flying towards you doesn't know a thing. Um... The fact that you have to hold your new beginning, your destiny, your karma by yourself, it makes you very unhappy. You didn't want this. You wanted to be with your ex-partner, so you're very upset. Um, and you're, when you're crying at home by yourself, you think about something, some three events or three stuff that happens or, or three steps that took this or at least you think that took this relationship to the end <clears throat> as i said earlier either you are thinking daydreaming about the future that you could have had with this person or you will go back with this person, with your ex-partner in the future, quite soon. Um, let's shuffle a bit the cards. I'm going to ask a question. I'm not going to read the cards as usual. I'm just going to ask a question and ask for an answer for this question. Put the, the mug away. I need the space. Will you go back to your ex-partner? I have the Queen of Hearts here. This may be you, maybe your partner. Um, the Queen of Hearts is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um, light brown hair, light brown eyes. She comes towards you or you go towards someone with be beautiful words, good words. Bear with me, guys. Won't be long.
Nope, the, the, the cards don't want to show us. It's mm, the probability of the answer being negative. It's quite a big when the, the, the cards shut like this and they don't want to match anymore. It's because the answer is negative. So in this situation, yes, I was right. You are daydreaming about how this relationship could have been. Not, uh, not a healthy... Mm, way of handling the situation so my advice is you for you to to heal your heart chakra to let go of this uh, past um, story of this energy and focus on the present because the 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 person that come towards you that will come towards you or that came towards you already is a very beautiful person with a very beautiful energy and the heart of this person is as honest as you may ever find and as open as you may ever find so um do your work work with yourself with work with your energies open your heart heal your heart and move on i hope you enjoyed this reading thank you for joining me and i'll be waiting for you for our next reading goodbye